Welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can implement uh, Stripe webhook in our local host. So for that, first we will create a int point uh, for receive the webhook request. So I am using here a Laravel application example. It's just for an example. So you can see that in routes, I just created a API route called webhook and uh, and for this webhook in api controller i have created a method called webhook method so if you just go in app and controller uh, in this controller it's uh, api controller.php and i just created a method here called webhook and you can see that here i have just mentioned in point secret and this in point secret i will see you later when i will just install uh, webhook CLI in my local machine and second one is the payload and uh, we will get it from webhook request and signature header the same thing we will receive from webhook request and I just keep it the log uh, in our application for example here I just created a log and so it will create a log in directory storage uh in stores and here is the log the log will uh, create in here so it's just in a laravel example if you're not uh, familiar with laravel any others framework like cake php the same thing you can do same function you can write uh, that just need to change in here if you're using the cake php or you can create this in your uh, raw php or, or uh, in the simple php you can write the same method so let's check first that uh, how this in point working so i'm just in postman and uh, you can see in this postman i just created a post request and this is my uh, application uh, api url uh, here here is the api and webhook in this route i just send it some request with some json data it's just an example nothing else so if you just send this request i just uh, click on the send so there is nothing returned because i haven't returned anything but if you see in in stores in here and in stores in log in log you will see that a log has created with the same date for today's date so if you just open it you will see see the json right like that so we will implement this one in webhook so stripe webhook so let's first uh, install the stripe cli in our local machine so for that i'm just going in I'm going to open the terminal and uh, at first uh, we will install the stripe uh, webhook uh, cli using the brew command so here is the brew install stripe stripe cli stripe so if you just give this command after hit on enter it will install the stripe cli you know in your local machine so i'm just uh, waiting some time to install the webhook so okay so you can see that it has finished install has done so second thing that i have to do I just need to log in in Stripe using the Stripe login command. So this is the second step. So if you just give uh, and hit on enter, so you can see that uh, uh, they have given a instruction that press on enter to open this URL. So when you will enter, um, hit on enter, it will go this URL to confirm that your authentication is uh, valid or invalid so i'm just going to hit on enter so it just opened uh, my stripe dashboard in here so so i'm just going to confirm my uh, password then you will see uh, just i'm just going to allow the access so my access has uh, allowed so i'm just going to close this one nothing need to do in here so if you just go again in here you will see that it has given after uh, after access everything 
uh, they have told me Dan, Dan and the, uh, they have given me account ID in here and also they have told that this uh, key will expire after 19 days so after 19 days it will expire so it's look fine so next thing that we'll go we'll just uh, uh, give a comment to forward my uh, stripe webhook to my local host uh, so for that i'm just going to give a comment that uh, that's called the forward command and in here i'm just mentioning here the send this all request to localhost and i'm just going to change the port in here so my port will be uh, 7000 so i'm just going here to change the port and api and it will be the webhook so it is almost the same that i have used in here so it will be the 8000 not the 7000 okay 8000 port so my application actually running in um, 8000 port and uh, and you will see that api and web of this the route so after that if i just hit on enter you should see that it will just going to give you a secret in here so here again here you your webhook secret they have given so i'm just going to copy this one and just going in my environment variable that's env in here and i'm just pasting it in here first and second i'm just going to open my controller that means api controller and here is the webhook secret this one i'm going to paste it in here and just give a equal and this is my webhook uh, secret so i'm just going to um, save it so i'm just going to save it and just uh, close everything so now um, to check to check that it's working or not i'm just going to delete first uh, this log from here and then we will just uh, uh, you can see that my webhook is running ready to receive the request i'm going to open another terminal in here and in here we will just fire a event or we will trigger an event so if you go in stripe website you will see lots of uh, if you just uh, search in google that with the stripe trigger event then you will see some event so in this event you can uh, use any event to check your webhook is working or not for example i'm just uh, going to trigger a payment intent success succeed um, um, trigger so that means that when a user will uh, buy any product then uh, after buy a product uh, if the payment is success then the, a request will send in your webhook so this webhook request you can generate by this uh, command so if you just hit on enter so you can see a just demo has sent so you can see the 200 post request has sent in your this uh, api request in this link so now if you just go and if in your check if you check in your application you can see that laravel file has generated if you just open it you can see a json in here generate it's actually a dummy uh, data will be sent by this uh, command so by this command you can check that it's working or not so so that was the procedure that how you can integrate stripe cli in your local machine using laravel and also in your mac device thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next